What's up, Virgo? It's Obsidian Lotus Owl. I'm here to do your daily. I haven't done you guys in a while, so I wanted to get to you tonight. Um, tomorrow is the first of December. I can't believe it already. It's so crazy, right? So lots of love and light to you out there, guys. Um, I hope everybody is having a good holiday. Um, moving on into December, everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Getting ready for Christmas, right, guys? So, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Keep the comments positive, right? Also, um, I am still offering personal readings for $20 right now. If you're interested, I'm doing it through December. Um, and I know um, just 20-minute personal reading, more personal reading than the actual readings that I put out um, for 20 And it's just really... Um, you know, to get a little bit more personal, right? So these are general messages. So it's not going to run 100% resonate with everyone. So um, if it does, great. Sometimes it does, right? So, but for the whole reading, but, um, you know, we'll get more into your personal situation, right? Or gear, uh, reading geared more towards you personally. Okay. So um, with that being said, wow, I just saw 111. So uh, there are some messages I got for you, Virgo, in my meditation. I keep getting, like, I keep, I keep feeling like somebody was, like, trying to tap me on, like, the shoulder. Like, hey, hey, hey. Like, somebody's either trying to get your attention or um, you're trying to get somebody's attention. But it's, like, um, like, like behind the shoulder to me. It was kind of, like, subtle or something weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it, it's like, the energy of... It's like you want somebody to know or they want you to know, but they don't. It's kind of like, um, even like a little shy, right? So kind of like the, uh, I don't know. I don't know, Virgo. It just, it seems like, you know, it's like a very subtle tap. So it's either you or somebody else. It's kind of like, um, maybe it's kind of like the energy of just, you know, I just heard like, excuse me, miss, right? So it's kind of like this gentle flirtatious like trying to get somebody's attention it's not it's not a um but there's like a nervous element about it. a nervous element shy I don't know so take it how it resonates guys I also was picking up the energy um fire energy air energy um conflict also right before I was about to do your reading um, I was grabbing my cup of coffee and putting creamer in the coffee and like I hear gunshots and where I live it's not weird right so but like uh so I don't know what's going on Virgo um but uh yeah what's up with that right so there's some sort of conflict possibly um and I feel like it has to do with a lover situation and I'm getting the energy too of like there was somebody like you invested time in that it, it was like the wrong person feeling or something like I invested time or I spent time thinking like this was the right person and it was the wrong person whatever that means to you I don't know I just keep and it's I feel like maybe that's why you're trying to get somebody's attention like before it's too late kind of thing or something along those lines I don't know um, yeah, it's kind of like, excuse me, or like, you know, like, get out of the way. I'm like trying to get somewhere, like, excuse me, miss. I'm like trying to get to this other person now, right? Energy or something. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, shuffle the cards and get into the reading for you guys. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to get my Kipper deck and see if we can get just a couple messages before we actually start the reading to kind of get get us in uh, the right direction, right? Whatever direction we're supposed to be going in and give us a little bit more info on what's up with you. Main mail, main mail. <laughs> so this card is basically, uh, you're either the main man or this is about the main man, okay? So, or you wanna be the main man or you want somebody to be, okay? The energy of, to me, I pick, this looks like, you know, you see the number one, like you're my number one or he knows what he wants, right? Like he looks like he knows what the fuck's up. He knows what he wants, right? Maybe he knows who he wants his number one to be. Okay. That could be somebody's energy here in, in the reading. Okay. Let's see. Spirit angels. Whoa. Okay. Privileged lady in imprisonment. Um...
Hmm. I was going to say my little prayer before we get into this, but those just flew out. So there could be somebody that's either locked up, a privileged lady, or um, is imprisoned in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sensing like actual prison. Okay, this is like, I feel like you're concerned, Virgo. There's an, an, an number 33 um, master number here that could be um, of significance for you. But there's an energy of feeling concerned about a, a, a privileged lady that could possibly be imprisoned. Um, I'm not feeling like, I feel like this energy is just stuck for whatever reason. And you're concerned about this person. Okay, take it however resonates. It doesn't have to be a sex thing. It can go either way. A privileged lady, but there is a privileged lady here that you're concerned about. So if you're a woman, you could be concerned about another woman. It could be a family member, a friend, whatever. Um, I'm going to pull one more card on that. Let me say my little prayer real quick before they keep flying out. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Virgo, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also, protect us with your light, light of protection through the tarot. Amen. Poverty. Okay. You're concerned about somebody that um, maybe you once knew as privileged or seemed like they were not poor in any way, shape, or form. Um, is in some sort of poverty right now, suffering, okay? They could be stuck. That could be the imprisoned, or this person is um, literally in prison. I don't know. Um, or there's a main male. Main male that's in prison or going through some sort of poverty and a privileged lady is concerned about this person take it however resonates guys I don't know um that's not gonna be for everybody right um let me take another card real quick I'm feeling like it's stuck it's not prison I feel like it's stuck yeah sudden wealth in reverse here it just flew out upside down so yeah there's some sort of issue with money here and somebody's concerned about it Maybe somebody had a large amount of money and now it's all gone. All right, let's see. Let me take another card real quick. We're already seven minutes deep. All right. I haven't done you guys in a while, so I guess you're gonna get spoiled. <laughs> so occupation. Um, this has something to do with somebody's job. So there's concern. Somebody's kind of, um, it has to do with somebody's job. Okay. The large amount of money, maybe they were making a good amount of money. They're not anymore. Um, whatever's gone on, maybe it could be in due to the pandemic or something. There's some kind of money situation and somebody's concerned because it's affecting family or family somehow. Okay. I'm going to put those down for a minute. We're going to actually get into this tarot part. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please provide me. Provide Virgo, sun and rising with any messages they would like for me to receive. There could be a lot of arguing in the home for somebody that has to do with money. Um, there could be fear of somebody going to prison over money. I'm feeling more like it's just like a mentally stuck thing though. Like feeling mentally in prison because of a money situation things coming to light here cancer energy we have for virgo so i'm in rising Somebody's losing a lot of sleep over money and there's somebody's leaving. Air energy could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and there's an energy of somebody really doing a lot of soul searching. 
looking for the wisdom within kind of like, I don't want to say like in the energy of like, God, why me? But kind of like the energy of just trying to figure out, you know, what is the purpose of this? What is it? Is this situation ending because there's something better coming into my life? Or let's see, is this blocking my abundance? Is this anxiety, despair? Whatever's gone on here, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, there's some kind of despair over abundance here. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. And this is that high vibe energy with the ace, right? So it's the energy of like, uh, I feel like being in despair because some sort of blessings like of abundance are being blocked. So there's some sort of a change being made right now. This could be your energy or your person's energy, Virgo, but it's the energy of um, leaving a situation. You could be leaving with a child or leaving somebody with a child. Um, there could be a child involved also, or it's just the energy of just, you know, picking up and starting over, right? Um leaving changing could be changing a job okay you could be changing um if it has something to do with just not a relationship it could be um having a lot of anxiety over money period okay and there needs to be some sort of a change here you're kind of going through some sort of like almost in a sense here hermit mode right with a priest kind of I feel like in this deck it's it's almost kind of like the hermit too um maybe you followed your intuition as well or you're very intuitive the priest can also represent somebody that's very very like it's the masculine energy of the high priestess so you're somebody that knows has a lot of inner wisdom that knows things um like you just know things, right? So it's the energy, male or female, just because it does, it's a masculine energy can still be a, a woman, right? So we both have both energies. Um, so I feel like it's the energy or both energies within us, guys. I, I just cut that sentence off. I'm sorry. Um, but it's the energy of this person. You know things. You know things. You just do. Maybe you've been that way your whole life. Okay, so it's kind of like maybe this is a change right now. Maybe Virgo that you're like, I know I need to make this change. I know why I see why maybe you've had a vision in some way. Dreams um, could be a vision or something, some kind of message you've gotten possibly about this change. Yeah, there needs to be a new beginning. You're taking a leap of faith towards something new here. Um There's been a painful ending here with the Ten of Swords. Could have been a real romantic, yeah, partnership here. And this is like the energy of just being content alone. Now, you've maybe you've been in the energy of a painful ending, um, ending a relationship or a partnership, um, seeking a new beginning now, or it's just a, a new beginning, right? So I feel like you know that there's a vision about like what path you need to take or you have already started Virgo. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and clarify what this sign of swords is for you. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Virgo. Sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. would you like for Virgo to receive what is this sign of swords energy devil energy could be a Capricorn involved in the situation or just the energy of uh, a lot of toxic low vibrational energy right so we're talking like jealousy fighting overindulging things that are causing a lot of despair lonely nights somebody's like wait awake waiting up for somebody you or your partner or whatever there was a lot of um i feel like the energy of just devil energy low vibe energy and what comes what happens when you're in low vibe energy nothing good right so it's kind of like um this ace of pentacles was affected by this energy right so there's a change that you're making because of maybe going through like you know okay you've had some sort of vision possibly about your future in the first place maybe 
maybe the vision didn't include this energy or you just have an inner knowing about what it is like um if you've done any sort of spiritual work okay and you're trying to live a certain way and you back track right and go um in another direction it's almost kind of like things are like way worse than they were before like consequences it's like the knowing here the knowing is what fucks it all up right it's kind of like i know why i'm not getting this money here i know what i need to change right i know <laughs> i know i know i know i know right with this new beginning here with the fool so it's taking a leap of faith into the unknown after getting out of whatever this devil energy was for you three of swords energy so there could have been heartache third party here i feel like that has to do with like the gunshots maybe maybe this is a warning okay too for you i feel like virgo it could be like the energy of you need to make a change here like whatever you know here maybe there's something about your intuition that you know could be a third party energy like shit's gonna pop off like pop off if you don't get away um Yeah, could be involving in a, a, little, a marriage or commitment. It could be with a Taurus. Um, but the energy of just third-party energy with a long-standing commitment, shit just being off the chain. Air energy, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy. Um, yeah. So I feel like, what is this Ace of Pentacles energy? For Virgo. The Empress. Um... So for me, I feel like this is, this is, this is high vibe energy, the Empress. This is being able to enjoy your life. Okay. Um, the message I get, I'm getting with these two showing up. Okay. Asking to clarify this. You're, you get this abundance, abundance, right? The pinnacles, the ace of pinnacles, wealth, abundance, um, when you're in this high vibe energy, okay? The Empress is high vibe energy. It's being able to enjoy your life, um, being one with the universe, right? See how she's basically like giving birth to the world here. Um, you're in tune, you're in a, um, a, such a high vibe frequency that like animals love you, birds love you, babies love you dogs, whatever, you know, I mean, any sort of human being, like everything's drawn to you. There's this harmonious, um, frequency kind of to, uh, your life and the way that you live. And it's, it's, and, and, and with all this, like love frequency, right. Or whatever you attract abundance into your life and including wealth. Right. So I feel like it's kind of the energy of like spirit saying, hello, Virgo, like this is popping off over here. And you're not getting this abundance right now because you're not in this high vibe energy, right? So it's kind of like, this is the change we need to make here. You know it already, okay? But let's draw some clarifying cards. What is this six of swords energy for Virgo? The wheel of fortune. So yeah, this is basically speaking of a change, okay? Um but for the better, right? So, and it's almost kind of like the karmic wheel um, of life, right? So whatever, for me, I feel like in this situation, it's kind of like spirit saying, okay, wake up Virgo, you've done your karmic time. Like, are you done yet? Do you wanna get off the hamster wheel, right? Um, because this is signifying that, see how happy and free she looks? That there's a change coming in for you, right? And it's going to be a change for the better, whether it's a change in partner, change in job, whatever. This is the energy of taking control and ending that cycle, right? So um, going through a cycle of completion and moving, getting to the other side of it, right? Let's see. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> what, what's on the other side? Money. Money news. Okay, you could be getting a message um, regarding um, maybe this is a change. You've already been in the um, uh, 
if you haven't physically like made changes or like sought after new jobs or whatever, this is like an energy you've manifested by um, meditation, okay? That frequency, that vibration, just the shift, just the change alone, I feel like Virgo is what's doing that. Um, and this is somebody that knows that, right? So it's kind of like, I feel like somebody made a change and immediately it's kind of like your energy shifted, right? So it's kind of like maybe you took a week or two days or three or four or an hour away, whatever, your, however it resonates with you. But I feel like somebody took some time away from this situation, okay? It's kind of like, because you knew what was going on, right? And it, maybe there's been a cycle, again, Getting off the hamster wheel is what I feel like here. There's been a cycle that's been going on. It's like, it's too, you know, um, what's the definition of insanity? Repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again. Maybe this has been going on for you for a while. And it's kind of like, okay, time to make a change here. And now when you make a change, look what's happening, right? So what is the high priest energy? Nine of wands. Okay, so knowing it's causing you anxiety in situations, right? So no long, So since you know right? If you know what you're supposed to be doing, or you know things about um, frequency, vibration, your life, uh, how you want to live it, the type of people you want around, when you know these things, you're not living that way, it's going to create anxiety for you. Having those people in your life, having, being around certain people, yeah. And it's also, I feel like for you, it's kind of like, um, passion okay what you're what you're extremely passionate about here um you know there shouldn't be anxiety okay in this frequency of living okay if you're if you're truly in this i mean there's gonna be some anxiety yes but i don't feel like to this level over here Four of Cups. I feel like this is the energy of possibly you either having to reject somebody or the energy of just feeling unfulfilled. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, the energy just like being in your feels about it. Um, it's like it, it's right after the Ace of Wands here. It's, it's feeling unfulfilled. Like there's no more passion possibly in that connection um, or whatever you are involved in here that you're making a change away from. What is this fool card? Spirit, help me elaborate on what this fool card is for Virgo. Five of Swords. So it's kind of like I'm I'm leaving anything that makes me feel like my head hurts here. I like see how he's like holding his head like Jesus. What the fuck, right? That energy of just like I gotta go. Air energy. Four of Pentacles. Um. So kind of like taking a new beginning, you're getting, you're leaving anything that makes you feel like uh, a level of betrayal, dishonesty, greed. I feel, I see here, it's kind of like you're trying to get away from that energy. So maybe the past energy had those qualities or there was something about the connection that made you feel um, unsatisfied here on, yeah, like it just was like a waste. I keep feeling, I keep hearing like a waste of time. Yeah, clarity here. And this is like, maybe you've got messages here. You know things, like I said, you could have had visions because this is air energy, thought, clarity, that third eye chakra opening. So maybe um, if you've taken time out to meditate and really go inside and really seek the wisdom within whatever it is that you know about the situation, had some sort of clarity, received messages from the universe. I feel like this is, this was like your, your, um, maybe that's the clarity that you've had here is I need to take a new beginning here or I'm just ready to take a leap of faith away from the situation looking down at the bottom of the deck six of swords okay leaving two of swords making a decision strength card you could be moving towards an energy fire energy or just somebody that you're very passionate about or there's a strong bond towards maybe um that's the decision that you're making here. Let's see. Or 
or it's taking you a lot of strength to leave this connection in the past. Let's see. What energies do we have going? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. What energies do we have moving towards Virgo? So I'm rising. What energies do we have for moving towards Virgo? Sun so and rising. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. So we have Earth and our Earth and Water energy, um, but this is the energy too of somebody that's very um, emotionally supportive. This person also um, is very self-sufficient, or is like the ultimate working parent, or somebody who um, who works very hard, right? Um, but also is very like fertile with the ideas of like you know, abundance, making money, right? So it's, it's somebody who's kind of like, um, you give them $5 and they come back with $100 kind of person, right? So it's the energy of just, uh, I like this energy coming towards you, especially if it's a combo of, of the two. Okay, this masculine and feminine energy here. Um, or it could just mean there is... Um, with the cups and the, and the pentacles here together, like this is, a, um, could be your energy. Okay. With a water sign here being very compatible. Knight of pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like this is your energy. Like you have your eye on somebody or have, This person could also be very health conscious. You could be. Ten of Cups and then the Death card, Scorpio. So strong water here could be possibly a Scorpio. The energy, though, of Ten of Cups. So moving towards somebody with some emotion here, or it's just a cycle of completion and change, the death and rebirth, right? So the energy of um, leaving a situation that was basically dead and transforming and moving into a situation where you feel like alive again, taking this new beginning, this leap of faith. Look how he looks like he just feels free, right? So, um, with the 10 of cups. Yeah. I mean, that's what everybody wants anyway. Right. So I like that. I'm going to leave that part of the reading there because I feel like you've gotten away from whatever this third party energy was. Yeah. Four of wands. This could be a twin flame energy you're moving towards now. <laughs> See how they're in the swing? Like, all right. You're like, I don't know if this is going to be like <laughs> fun place to be fun place to live. I don't know, but it looks like they're having fun. Right. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to leave that part of the ring there for you, Virgo. Let's see if we have any more messages from my angels. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Virgo sun and rising with any more messages you would like for them to receive. You have a gift working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, and parenting children. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. So yeah, I feel like exactly what this whole reading was basically about, Virgo. Really following what you're passionate about in your heart or just your heart in general and abundance will follow. Okay, you've been in this cycle of stuck and, and, and not following that and there's been like a pause, a serious pause for somebody, okay? And then victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. All right, Virgo, I hope this reading was helpful. Lots of love and light to you guys. Until next time, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Keep it positive to show your um, love and support. Again, like I said before, if you would like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason for a personal reading, that information is going to be in the description box below. I am still running a special for at least 20 minutes for $20, guys. So take advantage of it while you still can. All right. Bye.